Hi guys, so it is obviously the next day. I'm gonna show you what everything looks like now. And what you've just seen is me just bringing everything from my parents' house that I got at this kitchen tea um, and bringing everything over here. So I am not using, I don't use any of the stuff obviously from the kitchen tea because there's a lot of cutlery and stuff for the kitchen and like a mop and stuff like that. I'll show you that as well. I think I'm gonna do like a kitchen tea haul. And then, um, yeah, I just really wanted to put everything inside of the house so that Mario didn't feel too lonely and it like, he's gonna live here from now on. Last night was his first night like sleeping here. So this is obviously going to be his house. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna start with the tour. So I'm gonna start in the kitchen. Okay, so this is our back door. And then over here is the kitchen. So we're very lucky that the appliances came with the the townhouse. So we have our washing machine, oh, washing machine, our... Okay, so I literally had to Google what it is a skorogutwasser in English because I called it a washing machine, but it's not. It's a dishwasher. And then our oven, you can't see it at the moment. And then yeah, just everything, all of these things came with the um the the like i'm gonna call it a townhouse because that's basically what it is so all of these things are like the stuff that we got from the kitchen tea but this for instance is like what my cousin didn't use when she moved in with her husband so she just gave everything that she didn't need so i'm gonna go through this and see if there's something that i want to use and then me and mario also bought ourselves a toaster and a kettle but i'll show you guys everything just now and then on this side you have the washing machine and the yeah obviously everywhere where you wash dishes and stuff and our fridge and a tumble dryer and then our microwave and then yeah everything is empty i'll show you there's like nothing inside here but everything is empty except for this drawer uh cupboard so over there this is like stuff that the owners left and yeah they're not using it so we can actually use it and it's proper plates and stuff so i'm very grateful for that because now we don't need to you know it's not we don't have to buy anything all of these things came with the townhouse and then we have a water filter which i'm very happy about we have one over here as well um and yeah a very big cutting board place for knives and stuff it's very nice like the place really came with all of these things like even the key holder and yeah like everything this is also a chalkboard board which is very nice and then over here is our living room it's very small but i mean we're only going to put a couch and a tv in here we're not planning on having like a table with chairs because that will basically be our table and chairs really like like you can put wine over there me and mario aren't really wine drinkers but maybe we'll start <laughs> and then over there as well and then yeah a very nice blue wall you can put like a very big mirror over there the one that i have in my room will most probably work a very very nice clock at the top and it actually works like i didn't think that it worked because you can't hear anything and it's not moving like my eye can't actually see that it's moving and then a nice fireplace and some wood and then you can see it's a very high ceiling because it's a loft kind of place <laughs> where we're staying which i'm very happy about because you know by now that i'm very tall and then here is stairs that's going upwards but i will show you the the top later and then in here is the first room so let me just show you it's like empty at the moment um but we have cupboards and all of these things stay there's like the front yard and the mirror and everything and yeah like very nice what do you call this um, like cupboard handles <laughs> handles what? and then yeah inside the cupboards all of them i think look the same i'm not sure how it looks over here oh that's actually very nice i'm not how do you open this one oh. so yeah that's actually very cool because i can hang like the hoodies and stuff over there so the idea of this room will basically be 
where I'll be working. And the floors and everything is very nice. We didn't want a place that has like, um, that had, um, what do I wanna say? I'm just gonna look at you because I'm, I don't wanna just start like, talking to thin A. What's going on over there? But we didn't want a place that has carpets in because Mario's two dogs are coming with us. And yeah, we just didn't want a place with carpets. Like it gets filthy, you need to vacuum it. Obviously you vacuum like wooden floors as well. But yeah, it just, we didn't, we don't like carpets. Like my working space, my room, everything um, has carpets in it. And it looks so bad. Yes, it's like 23 year old carpets, but it really doesn't look that good. So yeah, I just didn't want carpets again. But yeah, we're very happy with the floors. And then when you come over here, so we have a bathroom and it's like a bath and a shower at the same time. We love the big shower heads. Very nice, like guest bathroom, I guess you can call it. And then over here is another room. So that bed thing is from the owner's children. So we can get rid of that. But this is going to be so a bunch of Mario stuff is here already from his room. Th these things stay here and then he has like two cupboards. And yeah, I think it's like big enough for him. So we can get rid of that. But if it's not necessary, I mean, he's only going to work in here like on his computer. And that's all. So this is the other room. And then the mirror also comes with the place, which is very nice. And yeah, so kitchen living room and now we're going upstairs so this is our little wooden stairs so over here is like the loft space area we have aircon roof um obviously finishes over here here you can see the space from up here and then i'm laughing because mario said that i just need to ignore his clothes <laughs> he, he says that he has a system going so i'm guessing that that's what's going on over here. Um, and then yeah, our big loft area. And then over here is like the bathroom area. He already stayed here last night. So here's like where he showered and the basin. These lights are very, very nice. I really like it. That's like the only lights that are here. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Yeah, now you can see because it's, the phone doesn't get like a very wide angle, but now you are. Um, so yeah, now you can see over there, so the bathroom, and then when you go in here, they have like these nice curtains that kind of just give you a little bit of privacy in the main bedroom. So obviously excuse the state that it's in. Mario slept here last night, as I've mentioned. So yeah, so this is the main bedroom and yeah, that is it. Obviously you will see how it's going to look when I move in here because at the moment it's only Mario. I feel like I want to open some windows for him because it's very, very hot. And maybe just, oh, the windows are open. But if you open like the blinds, the wind can come in. I don't understand <laughs> what he's doing. Okay, but yeah, so there you go. Now we have some, some, um, some light i'm gonna have to zoom out again what's very nice is we have a his and hers cupboards so on this side i'm not sure if he already put some of his things yeah so we have his racing suit um so we have hanging space on this side and then over here you have the folding space so a lot of space over there and then obviously on this side, oh, that looks weird. But on this side, it is exactly the same. Again, the wooden floors, <laughs> hair dryer. Okay, but the wooden floors and everything is very, very nice. And then yeah, I think it's very hot up here. Um, I understand that because in my house, it's also, it's like exactly the same. I can put on the air con. I'm just not sure, oh, okay. Um, this is like the tour. And now you can see the whole space again from up here. It's very dark now because I obviously haven't put on any lights downstairs. There's still a lot that needs to be done and I can't wait to see what the place looks like um, when we're done with it. But let me show you what I got 
from our kitchen seat. Okay, first thing I want to show you is what my grandma gave me. So this is like a pie plate that I think is super, super old, but she just always kept it. And look how nice it is. Oh, stay open. Like, it's very, very nice. So... I can bake a pie, not that I've ever done that in my entire life, but this will probably help me to start with cooking or baking. So I've kind of decided to try a new recipe every single week. I know that I might like only do that for maybe a month or so, and then I'm gonna be over it. But I do have like a lot of books and stuff, like cookbooks and stuff, and I really just want to um, get better at cooking because I never really had to do it when I stayed alone for three years um, at university I like my main like the main stuff that I ate was usually like salads and stuff and so this actually comes from my apartment that I had in university so obviously you know that this is like a microwave a, like thingy for the microwave so I think I'm just gonna put it over here so long and then um i need to kind of i think i'm going to show you guys what i have now and then i will put everything in a place later so i have a couple of like mugs and stuff i really want to show you guys this one it's one that i got for one of my birthdays i think it's actually for soup i don't think it's for coffee but i mean you can like put coffee in there if you'd like but yeah it's mainly for soup i have a bunch of different mugs i will show you them because none of them are the same i think it's just like a lot of them i got for presents from people i think these ones are like the only ones that are kind of the same it's also stuck in there but anyway so these ones are all the same and then I have like a jar there and these these little cans. I think I got them from a friend for also just for like for a birthday. So I'll see if we're going to use it. And then I have like a random candle over there as well. And then over here we got like cleaning supplies. Obviously some toilet paper. I'll go into that later. But this is also I think... I think my mom gave this to Mario um, just so that he can feel like he also got like some manly things and some braai like mitts which you use to braai with and oh we actually got some sweets sour worms that he needs to remember <laughs> Okay, I'll put that there for him. And then the rest of the stuff is stuff that I just brought. We bought these in Cape Town when we needed some knives um, to make sandwiches with. And then these are just like a bunch of stuff that I brought with me from when I lived in uh, at university. So obviously this, for instance, we don't need um, because we do have that over there already so i think i'll probably just take this home again so i got this at the kitchen seat it's also a cutting board we have a lot of cutting boards because i still have like a wooden one somewhere i know that somewhere i have a wooden one and then this one came with the apartment this big one we have that big one and then we have these two this one is obviously not probably not a cutting board the marble one i think this will obviously just be for displaying stuff and like a cheese board and stuff like that and then we have a toaster that my grandparents gave me the other grandparents gave me these one this one we got a mop as well <laughs> i saw an advert on tv about this mop and so i told my mom like this is a very cool mop because i don't have to rinse it out with my hands so yeah, that's like how it works. I'll still kind of figure it out. It is the, that's the, the mop that it is. And then me and Mario went to Hershey's and we bought a toaster and a kettle. 
and then here is also just a very big box i've explained that this is from my cousin so stuff that she kind of ended up throwing out also like jars and stuff and also a cookbook it has a lot of different recipes and then over here we have braai receptor which is the best south african braai recipes and braaiing is like a barbecue if i can as you can see explain it like that so everything that has to do with braaiing so i can actually like every time that we go braai somewhere or with like friends or stuff i can try a recipe like one of these recipes more than 200 exciting recipes yeah it looks delicious so we're obviously gonna do that and then i know that yeah we got like random old cutlery Look at how cute that is like knives and forks and stuff and then a lot of these white little cups or teacups i think and then also like coffee mugs this is like a yeah like a baking oh, this is very cute like a baking thingy <laughs> what you call this my mom also bought this for me for when i wasn't at university and then yeah just so that i can like bake some stuff but i think like this will be very nice to bake brownies in or yeah stuff like that so a bunch of different things over here as well and then over here at the bottom is like most of the stuff that we got for the kitchen tea let me just show you this because this is actually very funny because i still have it and it's like like biscuits that you're supposed to eat i just quickly opened it so my mom loves to like keep cute um like memories so this is like an edible flower but we obviously didn't eat it but like a flower that was on the cake that she got and then the, the biscuits she ordered from a lady as well from the same lady and this is also going to be the same lady that's actually going to make our wedding cake so this is our initials and then this one says forever in Afrikaans. This one says congratulations in Afrikaans. And yeah, it's very cute, like stuff that we can keep. I'm not sure why we're keeping it. Um, hands are filthy because I'm not, yeah, I'm not really that sentimental when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, I'll like take a photo and keep the photo, but not really the biscuits because they're supposed to get eaten but anyway so i'll just keep it there and then i guess this one is also just like a big um bag of cleaning supplies so we have a lot of that so obviously it's gonna come over here where we do the cleaning we got like a nice cooler also a lot of things inside so we have our little washing i just put that there <laughs> um yeah so now i can just put in all of our little uh washing pegs that's what you call them over here what we got so we got one of these like for obviously washing dishes and this is like a um this is what i wore at the kitchen tea so it's an apron that everyone just wrote like a very nice letter onto um so yeah we read that and it's yeah it's very cute so i'll keep that i'll probably not actually cook with it and then we've got some this is actually also very nice so it's for your table cloth so that in the wind it doesn't blow over because we do have a table outside over there and yeah so then just when the wind blows it won't get blown away and then some tissues it's like it's nice to get stuff like this like you you kind of have the stuff that you need to like live like for a month maybe without anything i really like this it is a door stopper and then oh there's some more tissues and tissue paper <laughs> and then some pegs so the washing pegs i'll put and just like put it in there so we got a stick blender set so this is also very cool 
uh, with like a bunch. I'm very happy about this one because we don't have a hand mixer. So that's pretty cool. And then yeah, blending stuff. Don't know what we're going to use it for. Probably like when you make soups and stuff like that. I still need to figure out what everything is like used for, are used for and stuff. Okay, let me just finish this. So we got a very nice salad bowl. Look at the detail on this bowl. It's very, very nice. It's from Mr. Price. Then we have a room spray. I'll, I'll maybe like spray a little bit of this in the house and see if my own notices. And I think this is also another one. Yeah, also a room spray, but it's a different one. So, oh no, it's exactly the same. Okay, so we have two of the same. I know that we had like, um, yeah, like someone gave us, this is from two different people and they gave us, they're actually the same because we had a registry at Mr. Price home. So this um, is room spray, but I'm very happy about that. And then we got these jars as well. So that's also for like anything that you can think of. I think like biscuits and stuff like that. So that's very nice. That'll probably like be over here somewhere in the kitchen. Then this is, what is this? This is also a room spray from Mr. Price Home. So we have three of them. Then we have a lot of cloths. Always need these ones. We have some more cleaning supplies. And then yeah, that is, I'll clean this thing later. So we have this as well. I'm not sure where we're gonna put that. Maybe like also in like one of the cupboards or something. Then over here, we got, let's see which, this very cute frame set kind of thingy <laughs> from, um, also from Mr. Price Home. And then I think we got that from Mario's cousin. And then this is, wow, okay, just some more cleaning stuff, which I'm very grateful for. And then also just some cloths and then we've got some of these soap what do you call this a dispenser we actually got two of each of the women that came to the kitchens he gave like the same thing so but i'm actually grateful because we have two bathrooms so now the bathrooms will like match so here's like a soap dispenser and we also got this for our toothbrushes. <laughs> and then we have some tongs, tongs. Oh, we have very nice bath towels that I will just put away first. Like I asked Mario to not use the towels. We got a lot of towels um, and that we can like start using it when I live with him because he does have like his own towels. Then we got another, Okay, wait, let me just take this out. So here's another bath towel. And oh, this is so cute. Like, look at this one. Like this, I will actually like put over here at the stove because this is nice. Like you can, it's more of like for display. Um, so yeah, like, as you can see, we kind of had a theme of like greens and grays and more natural tones. And then it's like stuck here. Another frame. And we'll also put this up some way when we get to that. Then over here, we got some candles. Okay, so this one we got from our, like a real estate agent that we kind of worked with when we were looking for houses to buy. But obviously we decided to rent, so we didn't end up working like through her. But she just still gave us like something to just say congratulations on like getting a place and moving in and everything. So, which is very nice in my opinion. So I kind of lost, oh, here's the name. Okay, so that's the name of the place. So I think it's in Stellenbosch or like somewhere at the coast. And it's a woman that makes these and it is super nice. Like, look how pretty that is. It's handmade and she says that she uses it like in the 
kitchen she puts like some of her utensils in here but i think we'll maybe use this in the bathroom and put like the soap here or i'm not sure maybe like keys or something like that but we'll still kind of decide i just want to put it over there away from the edge because i don't want anything to fall and break and then this thing this is very cool like obviously for your shower i don't know where to put everything anymore we do have a thing for the shower but we don't have one for downstairs so we'll probably use this one for downstairs then another cooking book <laughs> which is very funny a runner for the table that we're not gonna have so i'm not sure where we're gonna put this maybe when we like yeah when we when we like use the table outside we'll use this so a table runner here are some more towels an oven mitt which is also very cute then we have a lot of tupperware the rest of this is just like a bunch of cleaning supplies more stuff for cooking which i'm excited about i really asked for stuff like this look at how cute these are i'll make some cute cupcakes with that and then yeah just a bunch of cute stuff like look at how nice this is here's a tablecloth that we can use for outside and it fits like with the weight stuff i think this bag has like all of the toweling stuff then we got another one of these so we have two hand blenders just a bunch of other cleaning supplies and that's basically everything that we got for the kitchen tea so i need to sort this out before mario gets back tonight oh i wanted to show you this so me and mario actually went for our church um has like a prepared course that you can do when you're like engaged and um so don't mind this i'll show you <laughs> what course this now so um yeah this is very nice like everything that they put onto the box and each couple gets a box so it's like what you take home with you and just open it so it comes with the little booklet that you get we also did like the five live live the five language love language <laughs> The five love language tastes so we could see what we are and we got some bubble bath and then over here this is like what happened so we have some coconut oil it's very it's a very cute idea but it kind of like spilled everywhere so that's why the whole box and everything is full of the oil and then this is just like the little program that we had for the day here are 52 date ideas so that's very cute and then we got a candle and we got some wine and then very nice wine glasses so it's just like to help you like prepare and they kind of just give you a bunch of things for yeah for when you're married and for just keeping the romance alive i guess that's that hey guys so i've realized that i've actually lost a lot of the footage so basically my phone just decided to freak out a little bit while I was recording that day and I see that it didn't record like an entire part, like the whole part where I wanted to show you guys how I'm packing away the kitchen tea stuff and also like how it looks. So basically I came back today just to quickly show you where I've put everything. Not sure if you're really interested but I'm just going to show it to you and then I'm just going to also just film the outro again i'm not sure if it's like if the storage of my phone gets full that it like just glitches and it like kind of deletes everything so that sucks yeah so let me show you so this is like the first glance of how it looks i put those three cloths and then on the side over there we have those things because that is obviously what I'm going to be using when I'm working at the stove area. And then the three books I just put over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them here. But yeah, maybe if I use them a lot, I'll, I'll leave them there. And then don't mind the light bulbs. They were in this cupboard, cupboard, this cupboard and I just took them out. So we have our toaster and kettle and I just put this thing over here. We'll still decide what we're going to do with that. 
and then over there we have that <laughs> and then i just put those thing legs over there and then everything like over here so the first drawer we still obviously need cutlery so this will be filled with all of our knives and forks and stuff like that the second drawer i'm using for like appliances so usually we don't have a divider like at my house for instance we don't have a divider everything is just kind of thrown in there but maybe like this is actually kind of a nice way of doing it like this is like a watermelon slicer this is like a banana slicer <laughs> or whatever and yeah can opener a tongue and yeah just a bunch of different kind of stuff that we got in this drawer we have a bunch of cloths and then all of our baking stuff baking utensils and in the bottom drawer i just put like our bags mario's brying gloves and napkins our runner and everything so i don't know just a random drawer at the bottom i don't have anything in there on this side i just put some of our baking trays and stuff and mixing bowls this is our dustbin in here i have all of our mugs and then we still need to decide if we want to use these things i'm not sure and then just some cappuccinos and stuff that people brought us in there i have like traveling mugs and bottles and then at the back i have some shake bottles and then a bottle as well but it doesn't fit into the other cupboard so we need to figure that out just like a flower vase that i also just need to figure out then our wine glasses and salad bowl and then over here we have all of our different glasses these ones came from mario's old house and then we got new ones from his sister and then just our like glass jugs and then the soup bowl or whatever you want to call that so that's basically it on this side um and then I just wrote his surname over there <laughs> and the pigs, all of the washing pigs. I wrote him a little letter and some stuff that we need. I put some knives over there in here. Okay, so there's the two boxes, the kettle and the toaster. And then there is our, to oh. yeah, there's our snack widget and then our mop. And in here, I just put the two blenders and our tablecloth and stuff like that. And then on this side, I just put our Tupperware and he bought some milk. And then over here is like all of our cleaning supplies, which we have a lot of. Like this is how much here. I yeah, just put some of the cloths and then over here, I also just put the some other cloths. And then, yeah, so this is it for the kitchen. And then I think I'm just going to do an outro over here. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed it. We still need to get a few more things, but we are so thankful for everything that we've already got. If you want to see how we make our first place feel like home, please subscribe. And then you can be updated on what is going on. So thank you so much for watching. And then I'll see you in the next one.